Greetings, everyone. Today, we have an absolutely groundbreaking development to share with you today. The United States House of Representatives has just given the green light to an extraordinary increase of $2,400 per month in benefits for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA recipients. This decision is nothing short of historic and has the potential to profoundly impact the lives of millions of seniors, veterans, and disabled individuals across the nation. Welcome to Money Matters, your go-to channel for all things stimulus check updates and Social Security. The Social Security Administration, or SSA, determines your benefits by taking an average of your earnings over the course of a 35-year career. It sounds fairly straightforward. But here's the catch, if you haven't worked for the full 35 years, each year without income contributes at the zero to the calculation. This formula is then adjusted for inflation to arrive at your basic benefit amount. What's fascinating is that the longer you work, the greater your potential benefit becomes, with the maximum benefit peaking at a substantial $4,194 per month or an annual total of $50,328. It's an important insight into how one's work history significantly influences their retirement income. Now, let's shift our focus to a pressing concern, the stability of the Social Security Trust Fund. Recent news has raised alarm bells as it suggests that this fund may run out of cash sooner than previously anticipated. Part of this concern arises from the cost of living adjustment, COLA, increase, which could accelerate the trust fund's depletion. The Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget has projected that this could happen as early as 2032, a whole year ahead of the initial estimate. This situation underscores the need for vigilance and timely solutions to ensure the long-term sustainability of Social Security benefits. Transitioning to the broader context of retirement planning, a recent study conducted by Smart Asset has unveiled some intriguing findings. It highlights the pivotal role that Social Security benefits play in the financial lives of retirees across different locations. In numerous areas, Social Security benefits constitute more than a quarter of total retirement income. Take Miami, for example, where Social Security makes up a significant 26, 90% of overall retirement income. It's clear that Social Security is a crucial lifeline for many retirees, offering financial stability in their golden years. Surprisingly, even in regions of California with sizable senior populations, Social Security reliance remains relatively low, ranging from 30, 1 to 36, 6% 6 of total retirement income. These regional variations underscore the complexity of retirement planning and the importance of understanding how Social Security fits into the broader financial picture. In a recent and comprehensive study conducted by Smart Asset, a leading financial technology firm headquartered in the vibrant city of New York, Researchers turned their attention to the financial landscapes of the 100 largest cities in the United States, with a particular focus on the demographics of individuals aged 65 and above. This exhaustive analysis aimed to dissect the intricate relationship between social security incomes and the financial well-being of seniors in these urban centers, ranging from major metropolises to more modestly sized cities. To accomplish this, Smart Asset employed a multifaceted approach. Drawing upon two pivotal variables extracted from the Census Bureau's 2025-year American Community Survey, these variables were none other than the average retirement income and the average social security income received by seniors within these city limits. This meticulous examination of retirement finances was driven by a compelling need to comprehend the true extent to which social security benefits serve as a pillar of financial security for America's aging population. It's a topic of paramount importance. Given the critical role Social Security plays in ensuring that our seniors can enjoy a dignified and financially stable retirement. Now, let's take a brief detour into the realm of economic policy. In 2020, President Joe Biden made a resounding call for a $15 per hour minimum wage, asserting that paying workers $6 or $7 an hour was, by any measure, insufficient to keep individuals above the poverty line, irrespective of their geographic location. This proposal aimed to address income inequality and improve the quality of life for millions of American workers. However, it's worth noting that despite fervent advocacy, including from Senator Bernie Sanders and other proponents of this policy change, the effort to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour encountered substantial hurdles in Congress and ultimately did not come to fruition. It's quite astonishing to realize that the federal minimum wage has remained static at a meager $7.25 per hour since 2009. This prolonged period without an increase marks the lengthiest hiatus in wage adjustments since its inception during the Roosevelt administration in 1938. To provide context, let's examine the historical trajectory. The rate saw an increase to $5.85 in 2007, followed by a raise to $6.55 in 2008, and finally reached its current rate of $7.25 in July 2009. This leads us to a pressing question. Is it high time for another increase to reflect the changing economic landscape and the rising cost of living? 
Now, let's pivot to the indispensable social security system, a lifeline for countless Americans in their retirement years. The Social Security Administration, SSA, functions by harnessing the taxes you contribute during your working years to provide crucial benefits to those who are currently receiving them. Any surplus funds are funneled into the Social Security Trust Fund, a financial reservoir that serves as the backbone of the system. When you eventually start receiving retirement benefits, this trust fund steps in to provide you and your family with monthly financial support. It's imperative to grasp that your Social Security contributions don't sit idly in a personal account earmarked for your future use. Instead, they form part of a collective pool, ensuring the system's financial stability and offering financial security for millions of Americans. It's truly eye-opening to uncover that American workers, on average, receive just a little over 40% of their pre-retirement earnings during their golden years. This figure stands in stark contrast to the global average, which hovers around the 60% mark. To put things into perspective, let's take the Netherlands as an example, where retirees can enjoy a staggering 90% of their wages during retirement. This is just one instance of the remarkable variations in retirement income we'll be delving into today. We'll also shine a spotlight on countries like Italy, Spain, Denmark, Iceland, and Austria, all of which are at the forefront when it comes to providing their retirees with substantial pension payouts. Conversely, we'll explore countries like the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, and Japan, which find themselves at the lower end of the spectrum, paying out considerably less than the global pension average. However, before we delve further into these international pension disparities, let's take a closer look at the American Social Security Administration's pivotal role in the lives of millions of retirees and individuals with disabilities throughout the nation. On average, the U.S. disperses approximately 41% of a person's pre-retirement income during their retirement years. While this might appear to be a modest percentage, it translates into a notably lower sum compared to the more substantial percentages enjoyed by pensioners in other countries around the world. The social safety net provided by Social Security is invaluable, but it's essential to acknowledge these disparities. Now, for some uplifting news, especially for our viewers in New Mexico, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham has recently signed House Bill 163 into law, ushering in a wave of tax relief for Social Security recipients in the state. This bill brings welcome exemption, ensuring that individuals earning less than $100,000 and couples with a combined income under $150,000 won't have to pay state taxes on their Social Security benefits. This is fantastic news for retirees, as it puts more money back in their pockets during their retirement years. Fred Nathan Jr., the founder and executive director of Think Mexico, emphasized that this tax relief will make a significant difference for approximately 115,000 seniors in New Mexico, offering them an average annual income increase of $710. It's a step in the right direction to enhance financial security for seniors and retirees. Thank you for joining me, your go-to channel for all things stimulus checks and personal finance tips. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.